G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you, I do hope that you are super well. Well yes, it is 800 millimeter, 6.3 PF day. It's here, it's six and a half thousand US dollars, or 10 and a half thousand Australian dollars for those in Australia, and wow, what a lens. You might have seen my teaser at the start, bit of a cracker teaser there. That was a bit of fun making that. And you also might have seen my pre-production early look video. You can check that out here. And today I can go into a bit more detail about how big it is, how long it is, how I felt about it, how good is the focus. How sharp is this lens? How great does the vibration reduction work? And here it is, you can see it on the desk here next to me. Uh, I don't have the Z9 on it because we are shooting in 8K over here, so I can punch in like this. Oh, there you go. That's the beauty of 8K. And this lens, well, I did indicate in my first look video how much of a groundbreaking lens this is, how much I thought it really showed to us the future of the Z system. And look, it's the absolute truth. And you'll see this now coming across all of the other reviews, early reviews that are coming out, how much people are super excited about this lens. For example, Steve Perry calling it an absolute game-changing lens. Well, I agree. And wildlife is not my primary thing, but photography as a whole. I'm a photographic practitioner as a whole, and I can tell you across all types of photography, because I did shoot a few birds and animals and moving vehicles and people and all sorts of things, the handling of this lens is what blows my mind. You can get 800 mils and you can do it other ways. You can do it with 400 and a two times teleconverter, or you can do it with a massive twice as heavy 800 mil lens. But the handling, really there is no compromise here. We all know that uh, 5.6 is the best you can get on an 800 mil right now. This is 6.3, it is only one third of a stop. And that is a really small difference, which can be compensated for with shutter speed or ISO, VR. There's lots of ways to work around that one third of a stop. But what do you get for that one third of a stop? Well, firstly, it's so inexpensive for what it is compared to everything else in the market. And the size and the weight, it really is just ridiculously light and small. It's kind of weird. You, you pick it up, you, you just have to go find one in a camera store. But if you pick it up and you start to play with it, you'll, you'll just realise just straight off the bat that it kind of doesn't make sense. And I think this is why this is such a spectacular lens. And it, it will work for all ages and all types of people because of the size and the weight. And you don't need a truck to carry it around. It will be better for people traveling, going on safari. Just every use case that you can think of, sports, aviation, wildlife, portraiture. And I know people, so a lot, plenty of people said to me, why are you shooting portraiture with it? I'll tell you why, because I'm an explorer. I like to find the limits of things. I like to find out, well, is it possible? Could we do it? Because I'm a commercial photographer, sometimes we are looking for kind of like a new look, a new opportunity, something we can offer to our client that maybe they haven't really seen before. So I like to explore the boundaries in all directions. And this lens, this lens is at a reasonable price point where it could be in any professional's kit. Wow. So let's start with sharpness and absolutely this lens is very, very sharp. Having looked at the pre-production images that I have so far, fabulous, it's right there. And the thing is, you can use the 1.4 and the two times teleconverter as well. The results out of this lens, sharpness-wise, are outstanding. And really, you would be comfortable working with the 1.4 teleconverter and getting all the reach that it gives. And also, some of those images that I shot of Ash in this video up here, the one I talked about before, are shot at two times you can see eyelashes. Let's talk about the weight and the size. Well, as I said in my opening deposition, yes, it's, it's the handling. I, I absolutely believe it's the handling of this lens that makes it such a game changer. It comes with all the Z optical brilliance that we would normally expect. Yes, it, it, that's sort of a given at this point because they're all so good. 
but it's the 800 mils in such a light and well-balanced package, which really does sort of boggle your mind. Indeed, at 2.3 kilograms or 5.25 pounds, yeah, I think that's a little lens for a lot of lens. Something that I also found very powerful with this lens is the stabilization. Now it has five stops on every other camera except for a Z9 and on a Z9 it has five and a half stops. Now this is critical when you're shooting handheld with this much reach and I can tell you it's totally usable handheld. I mean, now I basically believe this lens has been designed to be used handheld. Now of course any lens that's this sort of weight there is a certain amount of fatigue after a certain amount of time and you can either have a rest or choose to get yourself a tripod or a monopod but it is totally usable handheld and again it's the handling and the balance it really feels especially with the Z9 like it's just been crafted as one balanced unit very impressive let's just swing that around and see how nicely balanced that is let's start here we can see we have the memory set button here which allows you to set a certain focal position that you can just jump back to just like that. And then on this side we have our switches. First one is turns us to manual and autofocus and the second one allows us to have the reduced focus throw which is then from 10 meters onwards. Which is always useful if you don't want your lens to go through the full throw of the focus system. So here we have the focus ring, the control ring, and our function buttons. Now there's four of them, but they are all the same function button. Now, as I've said before, I think it's great that Nikon has moved this control ring, which is aperture ISO and it's programmable. Instead of being down here at the base of the lens, they've moved it away from that position, which means you don't knock it, but it's still in a great spot. And for a telephoto lens, this is a great spot. And of course we have the function button that's right here. And let's not forget the awesome filter holder, which I don't use very often, but it's there. It's great to have it. Amazing. So the 800 5.6 lens versus the 800 6.3 PF lens. This lens, this new lens is 48% lighter. And that is such an astonishing achievement, considering you are getting almost exactly the same lens. So there we have it. The lens is formally announced. We believe it's going to be shipping in late April. It is six and a half thousand US dollars. And just like the Z9, I think it's worth every penny and more. I believe this lens is worth every penny and more. If you are a serious photographer who wants that sort of reach and kind of wants what I think is a little bit of magic here, this is a magical lens to give you this much reach, this much sharpness, this much stability in such a small package at the price point that it comes in at, which you couple that with the Z9's performance, which is up there with its peers, if not class leading. What a package for any photographer who is interested in this space. There are a few other accessories that come with the lens. You do get a lovely padded bag that's great for carrying over your shoulder. And we have a, a lens cover, and of course, we have the lens hood. Now, quite well made, quite sturdy, and it just locks on the front. And there it is. That works well, feels good, nice and light, isn't changing the weight very much, and certainly very, very useful if you're wanting to protect from those sorts of things. There it is on camera two. And this of course is great for protecting the lens when you're in harsher environments. You can do it this way. That's certainly one way to protect it. Or we could turn it backwards to make it smaller. We uh, un unlock it to get it off. Quite a light and small package. Please do let me know in the comments below, is the 800 PF for you? Is this a lens that you can see in your camera bag? I certainly think this is a little piece of magic 
and it's starting to really unpack and unfold even further what the Z-Mount in general has in store for us. And the future can only be bright. So please do let me know in the comments below, are you gonna grab one of these? I'm certainly thinking very hard about it. I am thinking very hard about it. All right, so good to see you. If this is your first time here, I would love to see you again, so please do subscribe and please share. Check out my website, mattirwin.com, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.